Hello, good day everyone. This is Teps. Welcome back to this channel. We have a 42 inch Pansonic LED TV, model Cinemax 42. It's turning on, but a distorted color appears on the screen. I will show you exactly how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. A distorted image or color distortion on an LCD screen often indicates a panel issue or a voltage problem with the timing control. So let's see the top board or the timing control board. This has already been repaired. I always first measure the VGH on this issue. The VGH voltage is measured at negative 5.5 volts, instead of the expected 30 volts. This capacitor voltage is negative 7.8 volts. The 7.8 volts is probably the VGL. There is no VGH and VGL test point labeled on the PCB. We have only 12 volts, VDD, VAA, and VGHP. I'm not familiar with what the VGHP stands for, but its voltage is similar to that of the VGH. VGHP voltage is 10.5 volts only. The LCD has a display but a distortion of colors. If the B plus 12 volts, 3.3 volts, VDD, is not present we don't see an image on the LCD screen anymore. If the VGH or VGL is missing, the LCD screen may show an image, but it could be discolored or distorted. It seems that this JP8 is the VGH line.
Let's cut jumper 8 and measure if there is any changes in the voltage. The VGH going to the panel still negative 5.5 volts. And the VGH from the DC to DC chip is only 0.3 volts. The VGH measures negative 5.5 volts from the panel because negative 7.8 volts VGL is connected to the panel, causing the VGH to measure a negative voltage, no voltage on the VGH. The DC to DC chip may be defective. Let's use this analog multimeter to supply at least a positive 3 volts to the VGH going to the panel and see if there are any changes to the image. An analog multimeter, when set to RX1, the test probes have a 3 volts output. As you can see, the image has significantly changed. The VGH voltage is about 30 volts. We only supply it at 3 volts. Let's use this step up DC to DC converter to boost the voltage. We will connect it to the 12 volt supply, adjust it to about 30 volts, and serve as the VGH supply. Before we connect it to VGH, let's adjust it first. Adjusting to higher voltage is counterclockwise. We will series a resistor to VGH. I always do this to ensure that the DC to DC converter does not get damaged whenever there are leaks in VGH and also to prevent any damage to the panel. The resistor value is 500 ohms.
Now let's try it. The voltage only drops about 1 volt. VGH draws only about 50 to 100 milliamps. The 1 volt drop is normal from that 50 to 100 milliamps draws of the VGH. But seems the panel is defective. Let's try to adjust the DC to DC voltage. Twenty two volts looks better image. Let's feed a signal and adjust the voltage. The panel does not looks good. This is a no gates on panel. There is probably a chip on flex at the side of it and they may be defective resulting to the four image and the horizontal line on the screen. A few moments later The TV has horizontal lines that are not guaranteed to fix It's a side chip on flex defect it has not been significantly repaired but at least I showed you how to use a DC to DC as a VGH supply. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help this channel by liking and subscribing. Once again this is Tefts, see you again next time, bye for now.